Welcome to It's Your Date with Destiny with Apostle Vivian and Pastor Gemma Duncan of Divine Destiny Worship Center in Diego Martin. For the next 30 minutes, join us as we take you on a journey of maximizing your potential and realizing your goals through Jesus Christ. Whether it's on a Sunday, Tuesday, or Friday, or any other day of the week, a warm welcome awaits you at Divine Destiny Worship Center, a place where your full potential is discovered. Here's a special invitation to join us. That phrase for another day, another chance to see the hand of God at work in our lives and another day to work the word of God so that somebody could be made free. Some family can experience the unifying impact of the truth of God's word. I am Apostle Vivian Duncan. On behalf of my wife, Apostle Gemma, and all the Covenanters at Divine Destiny Worship Center, the House of Champions, where worship is a doing word, a verb, and not a noun, because we do worship. Welcoming you to this program, it's your date with destiny. We thank God for the facilities available over the airwaves to release His word, His grace so that some life will be transformed. Amen. And we have our song. I mean, it's, it just gets richer and richer as it goes on. The song says, Heal our land, Lord. Heal our land. Heal our land, Lord. Heal our land. Heal our land, Lord. Heal our land. On every woman, Lord, and man, pour out your spirit, Lord, and heal all land. Heal all land, Lord, heal all land. Heal all land, Lord, heal all land. On every woman, Lord, and man, pour out your spirit, Lord, and heal all land. Speak on. Speak, and we will listen. Teach, and we will learn. Anoint us, anoint us, and we will be empowered. Send us, and we will go. Speak, speak, and we will listen. Teach, and we will learn. Send us and we will go. Where we go? We go to the highways and the byways, proclaiming the gospel of peace. We will go to our next door neighbors to the ends of the earth. We will reach. We will go to the highways and the byways, proclaiming the gospel of peace. We will go to our next door neighbors, to the ends of the earth. We will reach. So heal our land, Lord. Heal our land, Lord. Heal our land. Heal, O Lord, Lord, heal, O Lord, for every woman, Lord, and man, for oh, God's service, Lord, and heal, O Lord, heal, O Lord, Lord, heal, O Lord, Lord, heal, O Lord, heal, O Lord, Lord, heal, O Lord, heal, O Lord, heal, every woman, Lord, and man, Pour out your spirit, Lord, and heal Speak to us, Lord. Speak, and we will listen. Oh, Jesus, teach, and we will learn. Anoint us, and we will be empowered. 
send us God before. And of course, all our programs are rich with the word of God as God unfolds it to us. So why not call up somebody and let that person know that the word of God is coming through with power and authority to bring you healing and enlightenment. Let's move on to <laughs> a, 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 another dimension of the heart. I, I think we, we alluded to it when we were dealing with forgiveness in the uh, overall series, self-governance. When I told you about this doctor, who, is, who well, by the time the, the, the article was printed about nearly 15 years ago, he had become part of a team, worldwide team, that was researching the power of forgiveness to bring healing across the whole spectrum of diseases that a person could be um, attacked by. And he mentioned he was a, a Polish Jew, or a Jew from Poland, and he had lost his parents during the Holocaust when the Germans were incinerating Jews, I mean, either by burning them or alive or poison them in the gas chambers. He said, and he had become so cynical and hateful that if, he said, if, and he said that was a condition of my heart. My heart was bitter till it was acidic. And he said, you know what? If I had licked you with my tongue, you would die. That's how poisonous it was. He said his heart had become so cynical that he believed that the, there was a venom in his tongue like a snake. If he had licked you, you would die. He said, but he decided to take up the challenge when invited by other scientists to work with, with them on a worldwide panel to do interviews with people who were cynical about life and who were angry and so on. And he participated. He said the first thing that happened was that he had a change of heart. He forgave the Germans. He forgave Hitler. He forgave all who had stood by and not help for the loss of his parents. And he said he saw himself gradually coming out of that syndrome where his heart now, he said, I got a human heart again, a human heart. And that's why the Lord has us soaking. I mean, look at that prophetic word. Mm -hmm. And we actually say we'll stay here a while. Mm -hmm. And notice the Lord just has, has just kept us moving one step mm -hmm. at a time. Mm -hmm. Get off the bank. Mm -hmm. Come into the water. Ankle deep. Soak your ankle. Mm -hmm. Then move to your knees. All the while your ankle's still inside, your feet still inside there. Then move to your loins. All the while your, your knees, your loins, uh, uh, and your, your feet still being soaked. Uh, you, you know, it, 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 it dawned on me when I read um, Sir Daniel, um, Daniel Kalender's thing. Notice which part of us gets soaked the longest our feet. So it means our walk will have to be different. Our walk will have to be different. Is a case of turn right and walk straight. Amen. Amen. Wow. <laughs> and, and, and that's, that's a, a coverall of our entire 
attitudinal structure, mm. our entire um, passion structure, mm. our en entire belief structure, because of feet, which represent movement, are being soaked the longest. It was the first to get in, mm -hmm. and do you know it will be the last to come out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What a thing. And do you know it's the, your feet that provides the power to have you swim? Your hands just create the direction, but your feet yeah. is like the engine. Mm -hmm. the fish is the, the, yeah, yeah, the, the, the tail at the, at the end. That's what gives it yeah. the power. Yep, yep, yep. And if you even notice all um, big ships, no matter how big the ship is, mm -hmm. the, the propeller is always at the back mm -hmm. that pushes. The, the the vessel forward and we are proclaiming this season of soaking in the waters uh, uh, is tailor made by God for all those you know the whosoever will whosoever will take it to heart take it to heart because at the heart of the matter is the matter of the heart take it to heart and remove whatever contaminants may be there because of the 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 way you may have been treated the way that your parents broke up the way that your mother would have um just decided i'm sending you by nenen or tanti uh i given you away to granny and didn't even think that you are connected to her by heart didn't think about it that's it. And uh, I think they actually believe that's that right. it's for your betterment. Right, I right. In my mother's case, I think she felt, based on her circumstances, it was better that I stayed by Papa. Huh. And Helen and um, um, Eric stayed by hmm. their grandmother. Their grandmother out there. You know, uh, yeah. Wow, and in Grenada. It was terrible. Yeah. And she died without fully... We never really told her the extent of the pain, the experiences we've had. That's right. And uh, she never knew. Hmm. You know, so now we have to be real careful. Yes, that's you it. You know, as present day parents, that you do your child and yeah. um, we it. feel the money and the clothing and whatever um, could be provided mm -hmm. is better for them. It is better that the, the, the um, family member adopt the child, but the child stays home. Right, you know, right. So you could buy the books and bring it. You could um, buy mm. the school uniform mm -hmm. to provide the passage to, um, to go to school. That's right, and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. But when you look back, most children mm -hmm. would tell you that they would have preferred to That's be right. home with their fat parents. That's the truth. Yeah, that's the truth. And and it dawned on me um, that. The healing that Sister Sarita spoke about and the other lady spoke about concerning anointing the navel, based on the truth that God has opened up to us over the years about the power of healing by way of a mother. Well, we hardly have had a father coming to lament that he really wants a relationship with his son is usually the mother wow. coming <laughs> mm -hmm. and many mothers could testify who would have come to us for counseling either apostle Jim or myself that when we said put your hand on your belly right there and made the statement although the doctor has cut the umbilical cord years ago in the natural you are still connected to that boy still connected to that daughter mm. and uh, uh, something Apostle Gemma just said there and it dawned on me that you could do the navel thing too mm -hmm. and anoint your navel because that's where the connection was mm -hmm. and send the word of God to your son in England, your son in, in St. Vincent, 
your daughter in Grenada, wherever, and do the same thing. Hallelujah. And while you're doing it now, prophesy what you always wished could happen in their lives. Well, I know it would not be anything wicked because your heart been soaking, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Prophesy the champion in that young woman mm -hmm. in her. She ran away and she went to live with this guy and it looks like Lisbon, as they say. Mm -hmm. Prophesy by holding on to your navel and anointing it with oil, the anointing oil, and declaring that she going to come to her senses Amen. and there'll be no more domestic violence mm -hmm. and threats that he going to take her life if mm -hmm. she leave him and prophesy that she'll just get up one day and say yes. enough yes. is enough mm -hmm. i going back home by my mother mm -hmm. prophesy that the pride and the anger and the hatred for you mm -hmm. because you did not allow her or, even, or him to get in touch with daddy, with the father, mm. because he too bad. He helped me, mm. help me raise the child, and then I know she want to go by he, or he want to go by his father. No way. Look what has happened. Anoint a navel. Somebody on the line may have a son in jail. Anoint. He may be in a gang. Anoint your navel and prophesy it to you. Call his name. You gave him a name or that name because you had a vision of what he would become. You must have called him John. You must have called him Peter. Those are names that talk about destiny. You didn't just spell a name. Roll a cup down the hill and go pang, 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 and you say, call him pang, pang, pang. No. You had a vision in mind. And some people actually, while the baby was in there, you had a dream and go to you, call the child that. But the devil heard as well. And he has tried to mess it up. And listen to me, it doesn't matter how old that child is. It, oh, your son may be married, but he's not treating his family right. Hmm. Oh, he's not a family man. Hello, he has a family. So, so he, he is a family man. <laughs> So prophesy. <laughs> you should say single if you know if you know you're right. not a family man. That's right. Oh, he 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 he, he doesn't like his children all around him. He just feel touching him and touching yeah. him. Prophesy that the love of God that's in him. My God. Put that hand on the navel and prophesy to the wife that he married, if she is one that has pulled him away from you, and decree that she will have a change of heart Amen. because her heart is bitter mm -hmm. from. Her own problems with her, with her father and mother. Prophesy it. We're soaking in the water. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because remember, the scriptures say mm -hmm. that we, uh, Ezekiel was taken back to the bank. Mm -hmm. And the angel told him, take a look. Mm -hmm. So this is not just for us. Mm -hmm. This is for everybody, everywhere. Yes. Place your hand in the navel. Your, your child did not leave your home. Married, but just eloped and went to live with that guy. Prophesy mm -hmm. that she will come back. Amen. We, we, we launched Forgiveness Unlimited in, in 1995. You've heard the story many times. And the, the final altar call after the launching was for all mothers who right. have children who give in mm -hmm. trouble. Come up to the altar and mm -hmm. put your hand on your belly. Mm -hmm. And obviously, when if you put your hand on your belly, one of your fingers is going to be resting on your navel. And we said to them, rebirth your child. Amen. And we proclaim, Lord, take each mother here back to the last 10 minutes before that child emerged in the delivery room. And listen to me. To hear the bawling, mm. like if it was really mm. a, a, a spectacular forum, if you go straight up, Henry Street, you go across um, at the end of Henry Street, you're going right into the hospital. It was like it was the delivery room, maternity, maternity room all mm -hmm. over again. You, some of us may have to go through that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anoint your belly mm -hmm. and rebirth the child. Mm -hmm. 
whether you were angry that the father didn't stick around, whether you were angry and disappointed and felt rejected and felt used and abandoned by his father, we decree you not dead yet, he not dead. The anointing destroys the you. Amen. So right with your finger there, anointed with oil, forgive the, his father for being so obnoxious. Forgive the father for uh, um, accusing you of being pregnant with for somebody else. Mm. Hallelujah. And give God praise. Yes, yes. Give God praise that that man, even though he might be dead now, give God praise that that is the man that God used to provide that sperm that you needed to bring forth that child. And even though it was, a, as they, they, we say in local parlance, it was a tush that you were doing. You, didn't, you really were trying out. You didn't really plan to get pregnant, but you got pregnant. The fact is you are gifted with, a, with, with what, mm. what, is, what is it called? You are gifted with fertility. You were able to bring forth a child. Jesus. Many others have long, wish, yes, long for the heart broken. A, a, a couple came mm. ten times. They went to Barbados. My God, to do the has thing. This ten, nothing. Ten, three so, times the the, the, the the um fifty thing held. The hell and then it, you know many hundreds of thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars it is. Yeah, my God. And you got a child. You didn't even want to. How they say um, you cough and you get pregnant, hmm. and some had three and four and five and six and seven children. Met one that um, came for counseling. Eight different hmm. um, fathers. She just had child after child after child for different men she went to live with. Listen to me. This is the morning. This is the day. You, you have a friend on the job. You have a friend in, in, in the neighborhood where you live. You have a, a neighbor uh, in the place where you grew up. And you know that's the circumstance. Right now, you should call up that neighbor. Because mm -hmm. I'm about to burst forth with a prophetic proclamation. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, we're looking at the, at the, at the rerun of the, of the service on Friday. And so... A lady from quite New Zealand sending a request. New Ze you know where New Zealand is? Mm. You know when, we, we, this is Sunday, New Zealand is already into Monday. Mm. She was listening to us in our future. Mm. Wow. <laughs> but anointing transcends time. Yeah. Mashaka, robo, shondo, mm. robo, Time zones. Time zones. Amazing. Amazing. And we are decreeing. Hallelujah. Right now, you have a regret concerning the reproduction situation in your life as a woman. You produced children or a child. And the father's in, some, in lots of cases, if you weren't married, different fathers disappointed you, ripped your guts out. And even their, the, the, the children's grandmother didn't want you for their father. So you lived life like a, a, a vagrant. And I'm using that guardedly. And your children lived like vagrants. They went from one place to another place to another place. Uh, hmm. And what are you looking for? Somebody who could hold up your hand to provide money. Hmm. And of course, no, nobody does that hmm. <laughs> for free these days or since those days because they want their past, their part too. And as soon as that comes, boom, you were left there with the declaration, my money is not for no other man child. Mm. And my God, even now you're saved. That pain remains. Mm. God, if God say anoint the navel, anoint the navel. Amen. It's not just for physical healing. It's for mm. a healing that needs to go much deeper mm -hmm. than a, a belly pain. Mm. 
It's not an upset stomach. It needs to get down into the heart. Hmm. That's why Solomon, the wisest man, he said, guard the heart. Hmm. Guard it. He, he, the king just said, keep it. But he said, guard it. Hmm. Put up all kinds of sensors. Anybody who coming into your heart and, and you, test it, you test that person and the person is not genuine, walk away. Release yourself. Look at how much um, hmm? domestic, not just the domestic violence by way of murder, but you know many people have been brought so close to death that the man got frightened and he digs out. Because hmm? you beaten, as they say, looks like Lisbon. We hmm. are proclaiming and maybe you are saved and you went through that. And you know some friend, some sister who is going through that anoint your navel on their behalf Amen. and proclaim deliverance hey, karabashanda. Karabashanda. we are being delivered and mm. once you're delivered god expects us to go out there and help other people so we give god the praise let's say a prayer for you father we release your word having your word spoken the way it was spoken today, we declare a life is being touched. A family is being transformed. A habit is being broken. Lord, depression is being removed. And a life of thanksgiving is being established. In the name of Jesus, receive that which your soul needs. That is the grace and the peace of God that passes all understanding. Amen. Why not send us your testimony? Or you may have a burning request. Send us your testimony at 6333780 via WhatsApp. 6333780 via WhatsApp. Send it in text. Write it and send it to us. Amen. Don't forget, we are online every Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. at ddwc.tv. We are also on DDWC videos, both on Facebook and on YouTube. Be sure to join us. And of course, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. on the same facilities. Amen? So, until we meet again, we declare this is your week of victory in Jesus' name. You began life as a winner. Don't live it as a victim or die as a loser. You are a God idea. Because when God made you, he had destiny on his mind. God bless you until we meet again. Amen. Reach your goals through Jesus Christ. This has been It's Your Date with Destiny, a production of Divine Destiny Media Ministry. Until next time, you began life as a winner. Don't live life as a victim or die as a loser. For when God made you, he had destiny on his mind.